I knew that I loved her more than anything from the very beginning when she came into this world at 23 weeks and six days. Um, and they asked me, what do you want to do? And I said, everything possible. Mitch and I did uh, IVF. Everything was going smoothly. It was going well. Um, and then one day at 18 weeks, I was getting ready to go to work one morning and my water broke. At 23 weeks and six days, Julia decided that that was her day <laughs> to show up. By the time I parked the car and got to the room, Julia was here. The neonatologist and the transport people from the NICU and up came downstairs. She was already laying on the table. You know, I walked in and I saw two groups of people. And I immediately looked at my mother-in-law and all I, I pointed in Julia's direction and asked, is she alive? I was panicking, but I knew I had to be calm. Um, I thought that we had lost the pregnancy. She's in a fight of her life and she had only been here for five minutes. As a dad, there's nothing I can do. So I couldn't trade places with her. I couldn't really help her. I couldn't help her think through it. I couldn't put my hands on her problem. All I could do was trust. And then trust the people that were trained to do the job. That's what it's like coming into a NICU. It didn't hit me until the first time I could do a hand hug with her. And then as soon as I reached into her isolate, Julia reached up and grabbed my pinky. It was, it was, it was life changing, like instantly. She had some of the best nurses and doctors that I'm gonna say are on the planet because without any of them, like she wouldn't be here right now. Somebody to just kind of help you guide you through the process and be that person to connect you with other people so you know you're not the only person going through things by yourself. It, it makes a lot of difference. I didn't realize how little I knew about it until our baby was a March of Dimes baby. But I will say that the March of Dimes is an incredible organization. I wouldn't trade that type of support and those type of resources for anything else in the world when you're going through the NICU. Without everybody here, I have no idea where she would be. And I'm just, truly thankful for everything that they did 